Hello all great people out there, this is Kevin from CC Pipe, once again where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives and this time the topic is something I think may seem a bit basic at first, but it's actually something that took me quite a while to realize its full potential. Uh, so I thought maybe I'm not the only one. And if you haven't already guessed it from the video title, we will be looking at the align panel. And uh, the align panel, of course, lets you align objects in your project and it's available in multiple of the Adobe softwares. But it also helps you distribute or space objects, which it took me quite a while to realize since nobody really had shown it to me. And the reason I think this is noteworthy is because of how smoothly I feel I've ended up working with, for example, product imagery and even general designs that require a lot of objects. And if you're like me, it's also nice to know that you get precise alignment and spacing. And just as a note though, keep in mind that measured alignment isn't always the same as optical alignment. But that said, now I love InDesign, so we'll be looking at it in there, but we could just as well be using Adobe Illustrator. Here is my example file and uh, we find the align panel under window, objects and layout and then align. And I usually have it included and open in my layout though. And uh, we need some objects of course. And I have a couple over here. And I'll drag them in and uh, let's make a few more copies. I'm using control alt shift V by the way to paste them in the same place. So that's why we can't see the copies right now. And uh, okay, I'll just make these a bit smaller and let's start cleaning this up. Over here, I'll set it to align to margins and uh, now we can align them to the center. Simple enough, right? Now, here's the cool part. Now we will space them out and uh, we want to space them out horizontally and uh, there are two options. Either we space according to the object centers, which are these, or by spacing, which would be these down here. And in this case, our objects are all the same size, so it won't matter much which one we choose, but it can be good to know the difference. And I'll just pick this one, and uh, since we set it to margins, it has now spread it out across the margins. And of course, we could play around with that. If we switch it to page and distribute again, we would end up with uh, something like this. Okay, maybe we want to try something else. And uh, let's work vertically instead. And I'll set it to align to selection. And uh, this means it will use the sides or center of our selected objects. And uh, let's align them all to the left. And uh, now I'm going to move the top one down and uh, space vertically instead. And uh, next, once again, move the bottom one and now space horizontally. And all of a sudden we have this nice arrangement. And uh, the nice thing is that we also now know we have perfect spacing and we can also easily just reset by aligning them all together once again. We can also tell it a specific distance here and uh, let's say 15 millimeters and I'll distribute horizontally and now we have exactly 15 millimeters spacing. And uh, by the way, note that it isn't 15 millimeters between the objects, but between the center or the sides we decided to distribute according to. And uh, that would be the center point in this case. And uh, then maybe we offset them a bit again. We could then start to add some fun effects, to separate them a bit and uh, continue forward from here. Now, the point is not that this ended up being an amazing layout. It's really more about how you can use this tool to really smoothly and uh, precisely work with objects. And then you compare this with shortcuts for sending objects backwards and forwards to quickly arrange them on the page. And it saves me time and uh, hopefully it can save you some as well. But that was all I had for this time around. Hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.